Hey YouTubers, good morning, this is Rob Muffet. Guys, today we're just going to do a quick video on uh, on fishing. I haven't done a fishing video in a while. Today we're going to be answering the age-old question everybody wants to know. <laughs> what catches more fish, uh, the uh, beef jerky or the Slim Jims? Now, uh, I knew you were asking yourself that question. Uh, I was uh, on a channel I hadn't seen before. It's uh, uh, carp and catfish. Catfish and carp, but Luke... It's a real good channel. It's, well, in fact, I added it to my playlist. And uh, Luke, he did a, a video recently on, on Slim Jims, on uh, catching fish with him. And uh, I got thinking to myself, I've never used Slim Jims. I made a list one time of all the stuff I've ever used to catch fish. And there's about 30 different things. But Slim Jims and is just not on them. So I said, you know what? Let's do a, a video to see which is better, Slim Jims or, or beef jerky. And... Uh, so that's what we're going to do today. But but before we leave there, uh, after looking at all the stuff I've ever used for bait, it works down to, uh, for, for salt water, I've probably caught the most with shrimp and mullet. And fresh water, because I don't go too much after uh, catfish, has been just plain old bread. Surprisingly, bread catches tons of panfish for me. But I've used tons of other stuff, but I've never used Slim Jims. So today we're going to be trying the beef sticks and also the jerky. I got mine at the dollar store. They weren't the real Slim Jims. They were uh, Jack's, Jack's teriyaki beef stick and Jack's beef stick. And the beef stick is almost identical as what I can see to Slim Jims. So most people know what you're talking about when you say Slim Jims. I cut it up about six pieces each, so about 12. And when I was done, I, I had about six or seven little panfish, little bluegill in the basket. I had a couple more fell off on the dock and went in the water, but that don't count, I guess. But that's a pretty good ratio. And uh, surprisingly, they went after both of them. And they both stayed on the hook very well. Uh, the beef the jerky at first, I thought it was going to stay on even better than the Slim Jim. Because the Slim Jim has a little casing on the outside. But the uh, after the jerky got softened up a bit, it, it didn't stay on as quite as well. But uh, it seemed like the fish hit the, the Slim Jim the beef stick harder than the jerky. It does have more juice in it, more oil and and uh, good stuff in there. I think the fish would like. So you can get these for a dollar to a dollar short. Put them in your tackle box, keep them there for six months or a year, and if you get hungry, you can still eat them. <laughs> and you want to go catching some panfish and bait fish, that's what you could use. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. So I can add two more things to my list of stuff I've ever used for fishing for bait. Well, I also mentioned, I went fishing here on the Stranahan River. It was a beautiful afternoon on a Thursday. Nobody was there. I've been there several times. Nobody's there. Now, South Florida, Dade, Broward County, there's millions of people here. And you go someplace like this, there's nobody there. It's a really amazing. I'm happy to see that. Um, so if you can take off a work day and, and go out some places, you can have the place all to yourself. Um, hope you guys found this video interesting. And check out my playlist of my other videos I have, different people I like here. Most of them are Florida people, um, and but there's a few outside of Florida. And if you like fishing, I think you like the, the playlist and the people and the channels that are on there. Let me go over real quick some of the people I got on my playlist. Got old Marty Zoffinger, Captain Shane here after his snakeheads, Paul Barnes in New Zealand, uh, 311 Pope. Was like a he's like a professor. <laughs> I always learn so much off him. Team Guggen in his kayak. Austin Pavlik, Paul Adams making his lures, kayak fishing offshore. Matt Matson makes some pretty cool stuff. Palm Beach Pete, you never know what he's gonna do. And uh, catfish and carp. I think it's not a Florida guy, but he's got a really nice channel. If you like fishing, check out my playlist. Some of these other people, you're gonna like them. All right, guys, I'm starting to ramble here. That means it's time to go. Oh, don't forget to check out my channel too. <laughs> You're on there right now, but go ahead and subscribe if you like. I put on new stuff every week. It's not always fishing. You never know what the heck you're going to find on my channel. All right, guys. Take care and see you out there.